welcome again. I'm Robert Housefield, and this is Thrifting for Profit and Pleasure. Thank you for tuning in today. Like last time, I mentioned I'm going to continue where I left off because there were so many neat items that we didn't get to in our last episode. Now, you remember I showed you one jewelry box, and I told you how I was just in love with the wooden jewelry boxes. Well, this was another one. And you can tell it's different. It does have glass fronts, which is really nice, and it's wood. But this one was only $2.99. $2.99. Now, that was a steal. $3 for a wooden jewelry box in great shape. And the nice part about this one, I checked and it has all of the hardware on it. And it's not too badly scuffed. Very little, a little bit of furniture polish will make that one look like brand new. Now, you know, Easter's coming up. This is a wonderful little purchase I made. Um, these were half price. This was a dollar. This was half price, so it was a dollar and a half. But these make nice little Easter baskets, and because they're metal, you can use this year in, year out for whatever you want, just to put fruit in or whatever else. Oh, again, I'm getting, oh, this was one of my favorite purchases. I had forgotten about it. I knew it was here somewhere, but uh, I didn't get to it last week. This is exciting to me. I got one, two, three, four, five, five nutcrackers. I don't know whether you can see it with the camera for $3.99. Now, each one of these, I looked them up online, and they sell anywhere from $5.99 to about $11, $12.99. And in this shape, they are in pristine shape. I'm excited to get these. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I have to retract what I just said because I thought these were nutcrackers. These are not nutcrackers. I guess they're made to look like nutcrackers, but they are some kind of um, soldiers. But with that said, I'm just going to pass them on and I'll check them out later. I thought they were nutcrackers. They sure look like them. And that's, that's the, the bad thing sometimes about buying a bag product. You could get a pig in a poke, even though you thought it was what it was. I couldn't see real well through the plastic, and I was still excited. I wanted to just get them in my buggy, so I didn't look at it real carefully, which I probably should a little bit more. Um, I may make my money back on there, or I may lose it. I'm not sure. But that's the chance you take. However, if not, I'll make it up on some of the other ones. This was such a good day for my nutcrackers. Well, even though those didn't turn out to be nutcrackers, this is. This is a beautiful little fisherman. All the parts are there. He's in good shape. And he was only $2.99. So $3 for this little. And obviously, he would have had to have been hand painted. The hair would have had to have been glued on. A nice little purchase, in my opinion, for that money. He'll sell for about $9.99 in my shop. Now, this was a real nice buy, in my opinion, because, you know, I'm from Tampa, Florida. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are real big there, and we have Gasparilla every year. So, this has special uh, meaning to me, because it reminds me of the Gasparilla that's every year, and of my past. So this also, I don't know whether you can see the um, uh, $2.99, and it's a wonderful little nutcracker. Okay, let's go on to the next item. And this was, um, I think it's a kite, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, a kite, 99 cents for a kite. Those kind of items always come in handy during the summer when you have kids, nieces, nephews around. They want something to do. If you got a field outside, it's a wonderful thing to use. Okay, <clears throat> this is another bone china. 
Bone China comes in a variety of colors, shapes. This one happened to be 89 cents. So it certainly was within my price range. I doubt that I got it on half price day, but at 89 cents, it was half price for me. So that was a very good buy. Now, one of the things I really like to find are metal products. I use so many of them for so many different reasons. This is a, what I'm going to use it for is on my desk for holding business cards and pencils. Uh, in the palm business, you have a lot of contracts that people have to sign. So, and I want to have my business cards. I can put actually brochure, this is brochure size on both sides and some pencils. So that'll be really nice. And for $1.49, I don't, don't think I got it, that on half price because I knew I was going to use it. And even if it's a little scratched up, it's metal so you can repaint it any color you want. Now this was another one of those real nice buys, I think, because these can be hung on the wall. They can be used to hang hats. I'll show you a little bit later, either in this episode if we can get to it, or the next, how to use some common products to set up a real nice display either at your garage sale or at your flea market stand. But that was a good deal. $3.99, I don't think it was half price, but that was um, $2 a piece, a real steal for me. Metal and wood, those will last a lifetime. But simple things like this, you know, you might not think you might need. This was only 89 cents. Right now, if you bought that, though, in any of the stores, there was a dollar sticker on it, so it tried to be sold somewhere else. But they're about $2 just for that little piece. And I have a lot of pots and plants, so I wanted to make sure that I have plenty of those around all the time. Now, this was an extremely good buy for me because... This came from the flea market. I'm going back between flea market and uh, thrift stores because I didn't organize it in a particular way. I just wanted to have a variety for you. But these are bungees, and these are heavy duty, big bungees, $4. And because I bought all he had, I think there were four originally, he gave them to me for $3 a piece. What a deal. And I sell those in my pawn shop for $8.99. The, the cheap ones that you buy at the Dollar Tree, um, I sell for about $2.99. And they sell because a lot of times they sell out at the Dollar Tree. So even if you buy products from them, you aren't assured that you'll be able to buy it there next time you go in. I found that out. This looks like some more bone china. I can't tell for sure, but I'm pretty sure by the looks of it. Or it could just be Linux and $2.99. So it is bone china. And sometimes they will sell an item instead of putting it together. If you remember, uh, I don't know whether it was in this program or last program. I think it was probably last program. I had the cups. Well, we didn't get to the saucers, but they sold it separate. But still, at $2.99, $3, and there's six of them, that's 50 cents a piece. That's still a good buy for Bone China. Now, we're, I had purchased a whole bunch of these also from my buddy uh, Dave at the flea market. Uh, you probably remember uh, seeing me if you saw episode six, yanking them off the shelf. I bought, I think, all he had. These are Fisker's scissors. These are about $10 a piece. They were a dollar in his booth, and I didn't buy all of them. I try not to buy all he has, even though I can get him a much better deal. I buy almost all so that he can have one or two to sell at his regular price. And he always gives me a good deal on the ones I buy. Now, this was a real nice uh, purchase. Now, I'll show you the price on this one. This was a little expensive. This was $29.99. But the reason I paid that much for it, someone, as I was looking at it, said, oh, that's from so-and-so. And I'm like, okay. And I'm sure there's a marking on it here somewhere. Oh, here it is. It is a front gate. Now, I don't know anything about that. I haven't had a chance to look it up. But my point is, 
this is solid aluminum. I think it's worth twice that probably in the weight, but even if it's not, this will last me my lifetime. So that was an excellent buy. And I can use it for our beer parties, our Coke parties. If we want to put uh, ice drinks in there with ice, it's a wonderful thing to have. I buy a lot of these kind of containers, and the reason is they fit real nice into your counters. This was $2. This has a, a little door here that either slides or opens this way, and it can be used for recycled products if you want to put some recycled products in them. So I would encourage you to look at any of this type of product in a new light that it's easy to store things underneath your shelving. That's what I use it for. Now, this was a very good buy, I believe, and I've already used some of them, but if you saw these on TV, I think they sell them for $19.99 and you get uh, one or two of them. These are fantastic. You hang your clothes on and then you put all the clothes here and you drop that and it <laughs> you can put a lot of clothes in a small area and if you're going on a trip these were 29 cents a piece so of course I did buy all they had plastics I'm always using these kind of plastic containers in my shelving and in my storage areas so I try and pick them up anytime they're nice and clean and new like this. This actually came from Ikea. I don't know how much they were, but mine were $1.99. So that meant they were a dollar a piece. I would say that was a pretty good buy. And stuff like this, um, 99 cents. This is a welcome door cover, you know, these kind of things are easy to put on a pegboard, on a grid wall, which I'll show you later on. But these, I, this type of item would easily bring a couple bucks. Now, of course, you're going to see a lot of bone china. I just can't help myself. It's one of my passions. Now, I did pay too much for this one, I will admit. But when you look at the beautiful detail in this cup, and I did pay $5.99. This one should retail for around $19.99. So that's not that good a buy if you're looking at percentages, but to have such a beautiful piece of history, that's an old piece by the way, a beautiful old piece at that. Now, these kind of items are really kind of cool. This is a painting that was, I think they call it reverse painting. But it's painted on the back of this glass. It was $3.99. It's an original. Now, I can touch up the frame. It's all wood. It's not in the best shape, but I think I mentioned in another uh, show, and if I didn't, we'll go into it uh, a little bit later. But you can take the Publix bags, or if you have any of that... Uh, kind of construction paper that's heavy duty you can glue that to the back of he of your frames and preserve the backs real easy so that was a good buy I think for four dollars that looks like a re uh, rendering of Noah's Ark all right let's see what other tri oh another of the Nutcrackers and this one a beautiful soldier with a cape and a sword how wonderful now I don't think I got it on half price day it was five he was 599 but the reason I paid that much he should easily fetch $19 in my shop and the reason is the detail He's got all the detail. It's in. He's in great shape. There's no chips on the paint. <coughs> Pardon me. His sword is still intact, and the cape is in immaculate shape. Let me grab a. Uh, did I bring a water? Yeah, here it is. Let me just 
get a drink of water real quick. Remember, this is what you get. It's as is. We're not rehearsed. So, okay. Salt and pepper shakers. I've talked about those before. A lot of people still collect them. And what's nice about themed salt and pepper shakers like this, even though you may only use it once a year, it's such a wonderful addition to your dining table when you have all your spread of food to have these out. And they, they come in all different kinds. Now these were 99 cents a piece. And I'm not sure, I guess because, you know, if one got broken, they could still sell the other one. That's why they price them separately. If I were to price them, I would price them as a pair, as long as I had both of them, I guess. So anyway, but that was still a good buy for $2, in my opinion. Those will last for years to come, and they'll be a wonderful addition to any Thanksgiving uh, or uh, October festival. Here's some wonderful Bone China. Mikasa makes some really nice Bone China. I have customers who absolutely love birds, and I like birds myself. This was 49 cents. As I mentioned, anytime I see I can get a Bone China for 49 cents, I'm like all over it. Oh, I got two of them. It looks like the same day. So I got really lucky that day. But lately I have been what I call lucky. But as I mentioned to you, one thing about thrifting, it's you gotta be consistent. You have to go on a regular basis. Uh, since they never have the same items over and over, well, sometimes they do, I shouldn't say that, because a lot of items get uh, uh, donated that uh, people have, and uh, so they could get duplicates, but seldom do they have some items more than once, especially the rare and collectible, which you can find still in the pawn shops if you look hard enough. Now these were a couple fun items I got, and the reason I got them, they were functioning. <laughs> My nieces and nephews will love these, 99 cents, and they work. I don't know what else they do, it looks like they do something, oh. Well, I think they blow up balloons. I, I'm not positive. I'll have to look those up. But I bought two of them. They were 99 cents a piece, and both of them were functioning. I'm not sure what I, They have little buttons here, so, and obviously you do something. So I think they blow up balloons. So that, those are cool items that uh, I certainly should be able to turn a profit on should I decide to sell them. And, of course, <clears throat> I do like plants. Now, I'm not crazy about potted plants, I mean, uh, artificial plants. The About the only one that I will purchase are the ivies and some of the pothos that I, I grow a lot of, so I'll have it around with my natural, and you really can't tell it, just like it looks like a lot more foliage. This one was in a brass pot. It was $1.99. No special buy on that, but I can put it anywhere in my shop and it'll look nice. And along with my natural ones, you can't tell the difference. Unless you look really carefully. So we're done with that box. Now, oh, I think I'm I've got some more. Yeah. One week, about a week ago, I was real lucky in finding a multitude of these nutcrackers at the different thrift stores. And I was like, I, I snap them up every time I can because it, they're hard to find. Now, if you can see the price on that, do I have, oh, sorry. Let me turn it back over, $4.99. But you can see he's in great working condition. He's even got his rifle and he's a soldier. And for $4.99, it, and this one actually has a label, and I can pull that off and read a little bit more about it. But I'll bet you he sold for $19.99 to $29.99 originally. And that's actually what I should be able to get for the same item in my shop. And I don't mind having a lot of them just sitting around because they make a wonderful adornment for any 
Christmas uh, decoration or just a conversation piece. You wouldn't believe how many people ask me about nutcrackers, and I sell quite a few of them. Now, this is a police nutcracker. Some of these I have not seen before at all, but he's completely intact. He's got his nightclub. He's got, and he also was $4.99. I'm telling you, I really lucked out. Now, I would much rather have bought all of these at half price, granted, but these will not last on the shelf and because i am i won't say i'm a collector of them but i don't mind having them around even if they sit on the shelf for a year or two because it's one of those items that people pick up every year they will go around looking to buy one or two new ones every year so if i have some of the ones that they don't have i've got a good likelihood of selling here was another nice one Another police. I didn't. I didn't remember him at all. Uh, and he was five ninety nine. And now he is missing. It looks like something. I don't know what was in this hole. Probably a, a billy club like that one. I think I can probably manufacture that. Or I have a person who does that type of thing for me. His name is Ken Williamson. You may have seen him on the Ken Williamson show. He can take a piece like this that's missing a part and manufacture that out of wood in no time. He's quite talented in that way. Now, you may say, Robert, you have all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that's true. But the reason is, I love to help people have enjoyment. One of the enjoyments in life many times for kids and for adults is to have some type of pets. Now this was only $3.99. Now of course it needs to be cleaned, but it has this real nice top which I can use to, uh, if I want to uh, sort out my dirt. I use dirt a lot in my plants and I'll use it all natural so I'll need a screen like this in order to sane through so that I don't get the big chunks and the rocks. So it's got multi-purpose, but I'll probably, if you've seen some of my shows that I have the uh, prefabbed uh, pieces that uh, have like a little pond or a little uh, place where the uh, lizard or the turtle can um, get away from the light. Well, I'll set this up, I'll clean it, set it up, and this should probably sell complete for around $30. So, oh man, here was another, another really nice buy. Um, well, and you have to be careful. One of the things that uh, you have to look out for when you go thrifting is, and I mentioned it before, carry some bags, carry some wrapping paper with you. You don't want to be caught not being able to wrap up your item if they run out of wrapping paper or something to uh, wrap it in because these items are easily broken. Now this is a music box and a nutcracker. So this was an exceptional buy. I don't see the ticket on him. If memory serves me right, he was $2.99, which I thought was an exceptional buy. Now, I will say that he's not in the best shape. Um, now, he can be touched up with a little bit of paint or a little bit of uh, black magic marker. That's not cheating because it's just touching up the color a little. Now. The music box isn't functioning properly, but it does have the screws, so I can probably take that apart and get that working again. But I might just sell it as is for $10 because he's quite unique and I've never seen one on top of a little music box like that. So, he was special. Now, let's see what this is. I can't remember everything. Oh, this was a little train. Um, and this actually is a wooden train. I don't know much about it. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. But it was such a neat little item that I thought I wanted to go ahead and get
get it and it was half price so at two dollars it was normally 3.99 I got it at two dollars that was an okay deal but it was just interesting now I happened to get these because you don't see these that often especially in this good a shape this one is in relatively good shape um, and there's actually three of them there's all three of Columbus's ships uh, and I'm not going to try and remember from memory what they were because each one of them says what they were or what they are the Santa Maria, the Nina, and I think the Pinta. I will guess at that one because I think that's what it was. And this one is the Pinta. Yes, that is correct. And they're all in excellent shape. Now, these were more than what I wanted to pay. Um, these were $5.99 a piece. Um, and they, had they not been in such excellent shape, I would not have paid that much for them. But I thought they made a real nice presentation and they'll attract a lot of attention to my counters or my displays, if nothing else. So I thought that was worth it. Now these kind of things come in real handy for uh, all kinds of um, displays and or Halloween is a good thing to use these for also. <coughs> 89 cents plastic, but looks real <coughs> I'm not real big on mugs, but this was an authentic one, and it has all the cool writing on the bottom. I won't go into detail right now. I probably paid a little bit more than what I would have normally on this mug. I'm estimating this mug should sell for around $24.99, and I paid $5.99. So that wasn't a bad deal. It wasn't a great deal. But it's kind of a neat looking mug and it's in excellent shape. So I would say that was an okay deal. We're about out of time here. So I'm going to show you one more item and then we'll continue on uh, in our next episode because I do have a lot more items to go through. And what are we ending up with? Oh, another wonderful Bone China mug. And this was from Queen's. Um, it's the Queen's brand. It's a wonderful, made in England. And this one again was 59 cents, 59 cents. That's exciting to me. Well, it's been fun and I appreciate you tuning in and we look forward to seeing you on our next episode of Thrifting for Profit and Pleasure where we'll be talking a little bit more about our open air market that'll be opening soon in Roanoke, Alabama. Until then, happy trails. This is Robert Housefield, looking to see you soon.